How's it going, guys? This is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today, live at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. I'm here with Paul Sharp of STEM Scouts. How are you enjoying the show so far? Oh, this is great, Anthony. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Is this your very first time here? This is. Uh, we haven't been represented uh, here in the past, and so we're happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, what's your position with STEM Scouts as well? So I'm one of the National Assistant Directors for STEM Scouts. What, what's your overall mission here at uh, USA SEF? So our, I think our mission would be to, uh, to reach out to more youth uh, because obviously STEM education is so important these days. One of the things that uh, our program is working towards is our growth and um, as we expand across the country, we're in 30 uh, cities right now and so we have a lot more cities to reach and a lot more youth to reach. What do you think is kind of holding back STEM education right now? Um, you know, I think a lot of the uh, things that are maybe holding things back would be uh, the diversity. We try to funnel our, ourselves into just doing what schools may be teaching us or teaching the youth and we really have uh, tried to separate ourselves in that capacity. One of the things that we've found is that uh, about 88 percent of our kids when we poll them, they're discovering new things. And really that is beneficial to the youth. They're not only learning what they're finding in schools, but they're also getting to, to experience different things. What do you believe is kind of just the most important pillar of STEM education? I think, um, you know, with STEM Scouts uh, specifically, you know, we focus on the science, technology, and engineering, but really it's all about our character education that we build into our program and, and really once you infuse those pieces, uh, the character education and the leadership into those youth, yeah. the STEM is just an awesome byproduct that the kids get to do. And so our program is from third grade all the way through 12th grade and so these kids at a very early age, they're learning how to be leaders, you know, what does it mean to be a good scientist? both morally and ethically when they're doing these experiments. And that's really, as we look at continuing to grow STEM within America, that's really gonna matter. Absolutely, and where do you see STEM Scouts at the next USA Science and Engineering Festival? Um, I would love to see, you know, a, a, a large growth in our membership. And uh, I think, you know, just reaching out to more and more youth in more cities, uh, growing our volunteer base. This is a volunteer-run organization, so the more volunteers that we have, the better. Now, kind of closing out, you know, what makes STEM Scouts unique? Well, I think um, STEM Scouts is very unique because it's a multiple-year program. You don't just sign up and take it for three or four weeks. This is a 26-week program and you'll do six week modules and it may cover everything from vertical farming to robotics to the ISS mission to Mars and then the next year it's going to completely change and we'll have fully different modules every single year for four or five year, years and then it'll start to, to rotate back through. And so if you are a scout the first year you won't revisit the same topics for another three or four years. Right. And at that point, you've moved on to the different age bracket and you've covered a different program. So it's really unique because it is multiple year. Um, and I think that's really special. You're not always seeing that in a lot of STEM programs these days. Absolutely. Hey, Paul, so nice speaking with you today. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of the festival. I appreciate it. Until next time, this is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today, live at the USA SEF.